First things first, I'm gonna go in with a blending transition color and I'm gonna start with this color right here. And of course, I am taking my one of my favorite brushes, the Sigma E35, and I'm gonna pick this color up, place this in my crease, um, going up towards my eyebrow, but not too far up, just um, really blending this shade out nicely because like I said, this is our transition color. So I want it to peek through once all of my darker shades are on and everything like that. So I'm just going back and forth with this Sigma E35, which is amazing. That was just like a really nice, like rosy kind of mauve color. I really like it. Um, and now I'm going to go into this like bright pink. I think that would be really pretty. Um, and I'm taking this, it's a Real Techniques brush. It's their 203. It reminds me a lot of the Sigma E25. Um, it's like a dupe for it. So I'm just picking some up on my brush, tapping off the excess and putting this in the outer V, bringing it up into the crease. I don't think I've ever use like a pink shadow like this before these Rimmel shadows blend out so well i remember i used the like jeweled palette i think it's called or, or something like that i'll leave it down below and i'll leave the i'll link the tutorial up here um but i remember loving the quality um they actually sent me this palette i was so happy i was like yes i mean i would have gone out and bought it myself but i'm glad they sent it to me i had no idea actually when it came um, but yeah, I love these palettes. I think they, they're really, really good. They work really well and they're so affordable. So, um, if you guys haven't tried them, definitely try them out. They have good pigmentation. They blend out so well, especially the matte shades. So now moving on to a Sigma E25, but this is like one of my newer ones and it's not as broken into and fluffy. So I like that it's a little bit more precise. I'm going to take this color right here. It's next to that bright pink. This is like a pinky, violety, fuchsia-y color. This would be a really pretty Valentine's Day look. I wish I would have known in February and I would have done a tutorial, but hey. Now we know for future Valentine's Days, this would be a good little palette. I really like it and I love how well these shadows are blending out. Rimmel, I love it. Today is Sunday and I'm like, oh, as much as I love my job, don't get me wrong, I'm just like, I do not want to go to work tomorrow. Not at all. I just want to hang out, do nothing, film. <laughs> I just, ugh, I feel like the weekend went by so fast. I'm not ready to go back to work. Okie dokie. I am going to use that Real Techniques brush again if I can find it. Oh, it's right here. And I'm just going to pick up the mauve shade that we used first. And I'm just going to blend everything out. That's what I usually do. Just to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. This eye looks a little, a little rough, but uh, we'll see how it goes when I blend everything out. It's like right here. I don't know if it's because I have like eyebrow, eyebrow hairs growing, <laughs> but that side looks a little off, but whatever. We're just going to go with it. Now I'm gonna take, now I'm gonna take a Sigma E36 and I'm just gonna deepen up this look a little bit. Like I feel like it needs like a brown to really bring everything together. I think I'm going to use this brown right here. This brush is super precise and fluffy, so I'm just gonna go straight into the crease with it. It just adds a little bit of dimension. It wasn't anything too crazy. Cause I still want this look to be like pinky rosy you know what i mean so i'm not adding too much but i just need a little bit more definition this eye is definitely giving me some problems i don't know if you guys can really see it but this eye looks great this eye i don't know if i have something like a little pimple or something here but this looks 
doesn't look as smooth as the other eye. I don't know, we'll see how it goes when I blend everything out and use concealer. Um, so now I want the lids to be pretty bright. And I remember that the shimmer shades in these palettes don't work as well as the mattes. So I'm just gonna use this lightest shade and I'm going to wet my brush. This is a E56. Guys, I love Sigma brushes, so I'm sorry if it's like everything Sigma, but you know. I'm using Fix Plus, you can use water, you can use whatever you want, I just happen to have this. And I'm going to pick up the shimmery shade and pack this on the inner portion of my lid. Wow, this is exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy. And the shimmery shade was actually really, really pretty. I'm picking up the light pink. Um, the bright pink, actually, I should say, this guy right here. I'm just gonna blend the shimmery shade out with the matte. Make sure this looks pretty. Yeah, I think the shimmer shade would have been a bit dry if I hadn't used um, Fix Plus, but whatever, it looks beautiful now, so I'm not complaining. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. So now I'm going to go into concealer. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. At first, I felt so bad because I'm like, I always use this concealer. People are going to get tired of it. But guys, this is my favorite concealer. Like, I don't even want to use or even look at another concealer. This one is just so good. Um, but if you have any recommendations for one that's just as good or even better, um, leave them down below and I will try to pick it up so that I'm not using the same one in every single video. Okay, so I know I look crazy, but this palette doesn't have like a cream shade or like a white shade so that I can highlight underneath my eyebrow. So I always keep my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette close by. I feel like there's the hair on my face i always keep this palette close by because i love this shade heaven i think it's called it's like the perfect highlighting color for me um so i'm going to use this sonia kashuk like blending brush i still feel like there's a hair on me so i'm gonna take this and just blend out the edges of my eyeshadow a little bit so that it's not so crazy I did go a little too far up because I was trying to blend this shade out and so it wouldn't look so like weird. So I think that's why this looks a little crazy, but I still really like the way it looks. You see how it looks a little bit more diffused? Let's do the same thing to this eye. We look like more normal. I am going to use from the palette the lightest color just to highlight right at the arch um i just don't have a good little brush for that i'm just gonna use i'm gonna use this little brush by sigma the 846 and i'm going to take the lightest shade right in the tip and go like this so it gives a little sparkle there you see it and then i will put this in the inner corner I'm gonna do just a very thin line across my upper lash line, no wing. All right, so that's how good my line is gonna get. I'm gonna set my concealer now. And of course, I'm using Too Faced's um, Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. If you guys are interested, and I've been thinking about this, would you guys wanna see um, full face using Too Faced Cosmetics? I brought down the exposure a little bit. I thought I was looking a little bit too white. So if you see something different, that's why. Now I'm just gonna set my whole face. And for this, I'm using my CoverGirl Loose Powder. The Too Faced Ethereal Powder is just, I don't know. I don't like the way that it looks on my face. Like it only works really well on my under eyes. Um, this CoverGirl Powder though, I've been using this forever. It just works so well for me, especially on my nose. Oh, because it's so hard for makeup to last on my nose. I don't know why. That's my only problem area. Now I'm going to do my lower lash line. And I'm going to take this color right here. And this is going on the outer half of my lower lash line. And then to blend that out, I'm going to take... I think the pink might look a little too crazy on my lower lash line. So I'm going to do 
this mauvey shade and then I'll like do a dab of the pink, but mostly the mauvey shade. My lower lash line is done. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm using the Colossal Volume Express. No, I'm actually gonna use the Falsies by Maybelline. I've been really liking this lately. I put on a very, very light coat of mascara on my lower lash line. And now to top everything off, I'm using the um, Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And I'm actually using this in my waterline to brighten it up underneath there. And it has like a little pinky tone, so I feel like it goes with this look. Okay. Now I'm gonna finish off my face and then I will be right back to wrap up this video. All right guys, so I just finished off my makeup and this is the final look. I kinda wish I would've done like a chatty get ready with me because I love the way everything came together. I will leave what I used down below on my face so that you guys know. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know what you think down below and if there are any requests that you guys might have, leave them for me down below and I will definitely get to them. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.